Well, the eyes of the racing world on Paris Longchamp on Sunday afternoon for the Prix de l'Arc de Triomphe, for which 18 currently stand their ground. Blue stocking has been supplemented and uh, opera singer has come out. She's got the option of the, uh, the Prix de l'Opera if indeed she does go to Paris Longchamp at the weekend. But these are the latest. Zara Kem, Haya Zark, Fantastic Moon, Al Riffa for Joseph O'Brien, Savannah's Knights, what of a handful for... Uh, Andre Farb, Continuous, August Rodin, Luxembourg, all possible for Aidan O'Brien. Massac de Sevigny for uh, Andre Farb as well. Luke de Vega, who's nearly in a favourite once again, having gone up to around 7-1 to one after his defeat. Shin Emperor for Japan, Sunway for David Manoussier. Delius for Jean-Claude Rouget, Sozi as well for Andre Farb. Los Angeles, the main protagonist for Aidan O'Brien. Survey, Aventure and Blue Stocking, as we say, has been supplemented. Well, how's that impacted on the betting? So, Luke de Vega was favourite, was pushed out of the market on his defeat on trials day, but a sparkling bit of work in recent days has seen him come back into the top of the market alongside Sozi. Shin Emperor for Japan at six. It's Los Angeles, fourth of the Irish Champion Stakes, just behind Shin Emperor, 13 to two. Delius, 11 to one. He was, well, actually split Luke de Vega and Sozi last time out. Blue stock in the supplementary at 14s, 20 to 1, and bigger the remainder. So the Premier could well hold the key to this year's Qatar Prix de l'Arc de Triomphe. Sozi came through for the win for Andre Farb. Delius was second, and Luke de Vega took them along here, Laurent, in the, uh, the maroon cap and the grey colours, the French derby winner. Yes. But he couldn't quite see it out. No, he was um, he was disappointing. Everyone was disappointed. Um, you know, we expected a lot more from Luke de Vega. Um, he, he, he faded like a horse that was probably not fit enough even to go into a prep race. You know, at this level, you need to have a certain level of fitness, even though they're not hundred percent. You have to think Sozi and Delius because they're trained by Andre Fabre and Jean Claude Roger. They will come on quite a lot. Uh, from this comeback run. You want uh, Luke de Vega to come on as well for the run. That's what he will do. He's fitter. You said there was a sparkling piece of work. I don't think it was a sparkling piece of work this, uh, this, uh, this week. It was a good, solid work. And he's back to his, the weight that he was at uh, when he won the Prix du Jockey Club. It's, it was a matter of fitness, I think. And the Lerner, I said before, you know, the very, very, very good horseman. And you know, the point for them is to take him back where he was before. So it's a bit of a challenge because this... This race in the Prignel, it was it was a blow, definitely. Even for them, they did not think they were that far behind, but um, they just found out the, the hard way, Martin. Well, I'm only going on what Ronan Thomas has said, Laurent, that the piece of work he put in in recent days was better than the piece of work he put in going into the French Derby. Well, in, in, in this case, Martin, in this case, he's not going to be beaten on Sunday. Uh, because well, he will, because it'll he, be like in the trial, he won't stay. Yeah, but that's that, that's your view on it, Martin. But um, I've learned over the, the years to just ignore what you think, <laughs> but think like this. <laughs> no, no, he will he will stay. It's not a matter of a, of a horse staying. We always worry um, with the Prix de Jockey Club. This horse is he going to stay? Is he going to stay? Ace Impact. It was the same. Is he going to stay? But you know, when you look at those horses when they win the Prix de Jockey Club, when they go away in the last 150 yards, like he did in the Prix de Jockey Club, he was going away from his rivals. Um, there is, you know, very little doubt that he's not going to stay the trip. Um, he's got the shape as well. He's got that, that scope, the source, the, the body to suggest that he's a minor half as well. And, um, you know, look at him here to be able to quicken that fast. It was a furlong and a half from home and then sustain that speed. And even if he was not the fastest in, in the last furlong, he still, you know, kept a good, a good speed going onto the wire. Um, on this evidence here, uh, you cannot say that he's not going to stay. Uh, there is always a, a little bit of a doubt, but on, on this evidence here, it's like a little bit, you know, you would compare to S Impact. The turn of foot is not as, as sharp as S Impact, but it's there. And once he quickens, he was able in the Prix Jockey Club to sustain that speed and carry on to the wire. And he could have carried on a little bit further, I think, Martin, without any issue. But it's one all against him and Sozi for Andre Farb. Sozi's gone on to win the, the Grand Prix de Paris, and he's a definite yes. stayer over the mile and a half. Yes, he is. He is. Um, two starts over the course and distance, two wins for Sozi. Um, he's got the perfect profile to go into the arc. Now, what I've seen in Sozi, a good race in the Prix du Jockey Club, good, solid, but just not in the league of Luc de Vega at that time of the year, anyway. He reversed the form in the Prignel. 
uh, we need to leave that run behind in the Prignel for Luke de Vega. So he's a very good horse. Um, has he got that sharp turn of foot to go and win the arc? That's my question. He's a good horse, but you need a real sharp turn of foot to go and win the arc. And has he got it really? We find out on Sunday if he wins by five lengths, <laughs> we think, yes, he's got it. But uh, I'm still not totally sure, to be honest, Martin. Well, one horse that does have that turn of foot is Shinempra. Comes across for uh, Yoshita Yahagi. A trainer who's won a, a Cox Plate, he's won a Saudi Cup, he's won big races in Dubai, he's won Breeders' Cups. And we can see this horse, Lauren, quicker from the back of the field on his only try over the mile and a half. Yes, good, solid horse. Um, tough horse as well. Very tough and he's got class. And um, he's bred, he was bred in France, so I don't think the cut in the ground's going to bother him like he did bother many of the Japanese runners before um, in the previous years in the arc. But he's a good horse. Um, it was a massive run in the Japanese Derby. It was a big run also in the Irish Champion Sex. Um, now there is one thing that bothers me, Martin. Maybe we need to look at the record, but which horse has ever won the arc not having won a race during the season prior to the arc? You, you can't get bogged down in that kind of thing. That doesn't matter. Oh, of course it does matter. Of course it's 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 a key element. It's a key element of the. <laughs> you have to you, you have to keep that in mind. You know, it's uh, it's something very important. There may there may have been some, but uh, not too many. You go with a horse who has run three times, four times this year into the race. He hasn't won a race, and you're going into the arc like this. It's difficult. It's a big challenge. Doesn't mean that he's not going to achieve it, but it's a massive challenge. Well, an eye catcher of the Irish Champion Stakes brought uh, at uh, Arcana for over two million quid with this race in mind and a full brother to Sotsas as well. So and there's plenty of up to him as well. And uh, Blue Stocking, Lauren, we've heard this morning, she's been supplemented for the race as well. Uh, connections have stumped up 120,000 quid to put her into the race. Very interesting, Blue Stocking. Just to illustrate what I was saying about um, um, Shin and Perel before, there's been no female, uh, more than a three-year-old, that has ever achieved the double Prix Verme um, Arc de Triomphe in, in the life of the Arc de Triomphe. Only five fillies have achieved it. Um, they were all three years old, and the last two were Trev and Zarkava. It tells you the level it takes to achieve that. She's very good, Bruce Stocking. She's a, a tough filly, and she's very good. Um, she's trained by a, a very good trainer. It's very interesting that she's been supplemented, but you see between this race where she finished in front of Aventure, where it was a tough race, a tough race in a, in a tight finish, and the prep race for Sozi, Delius, and even Luke de Vega in the Prignel, three weeks apart. I do prefer the horses, and I may be wrong, but I do prefer the horses who've had a prep race. This Prix Vermeil was a proper race, and um, it, was a, it was a tough one for the front two. I think with Bluestocking, that could have been her Prix de l'Arc in the, in the trial, basically. That's it. That's, that's the idea we get now with the Prix Vermeil, yes. OK, um, so you've got to go with Sozi, correct? <laughs> no, Martin. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm going to... At the moment, I remain faithful to Luke de Vega because I think if the horse that we saw in June turns up at Longchamp on Sunday, no one will beat him. But if... I think we could be heading for a very open edition of the Qatar Prix de l'Arc de Triomphe in 2024. There are plenty of question marks surrounding some of the leading contenders. As Sozi uh, maybe won't appreciate uh, the soft grounds that he will uh, encounter at Paris Longchamp. Luc de Vega uh, will need to improve a lot from his return to action when he was beaten in the Prix Niel. I'm going to go with Aidan O'Brien, the proven track record in the big international Group 1 races all around the world. And I'm going to go with Los Angeles. I thought he ran a really promising fourth in the Irish Champion Stakes. As Aidan O'Brien has said, he's been laid out for this race for many months. He's flying slightly under the radar, so I think you should be able to get a good price on him. Uh, so Los Angeles, uh, the one for me in this year's arc. And also maybe a bit of an each-way value on Al Riffer. I think he's been completely forgotten. He's also been... Uh, prepared for this race for several months by Joseph O'Brien. So why not an Aidan O'Brien, uh, uh, O'Brien, sorry, father and son, one, two in the arc with uh, uh, with Los Angeles and Al Riffa. So Ireland for me in this year's Arc de Triomphe.